Hello, doll fans. Today we got... Oh, there's my cat. Um, there's my cat. This is not what the video is about. Um, um, she, he's very excited about our new friend. Okay, he's off the table now. You stay. I need to record this. So, one of my biggest ISO has, came, has arrived, and spoiler, not a collector doll. Not a G3 doll, obviously. This is just a Playline doll, but this is one of my favorite characters, and I think this is a character that deserves a lot more love than she gets. But I feel like she doesn't get a lot of it. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Dude, goodness gracious. This would be fine if I wasn't recording, but right now, I'm busy, bro. Anyway. It's because of the movie she's from, which is very hated, which I get. Not my favorite movie. I loved it as a child. I loved some the new characters as a child, but now, looking back at it, not a good movie, and here comes the cat. Goodness. Now he wants to be all over the desk, but usually he's not all over the desk. So that's like, he's doing it on purpose, but. Anyway, let's just open this. I got this with a coupon on Mercari. I haven't been on Macari in a while, I haven't bought anything, I'm trying not to buy dolls. Especially older ones, since there's so many G3 dolls. I'm very behind on them, but I'm trying to save money for important things besides dolls. But I got a coupon for like $10 off of, um, it was like $10, you get like $10 off something that's over ten over $15 and that you pay for shipping for. So this whole thing together costed $22, but I think with the, with the discount, it was like, it was like, Around 15-ish. I have to look. Maybe I'll put in the comments if you guys care enough. Oh, there's like a note. I think there's a note. I love when they do notes. Or give me stuff. Someone gave me an Udo card once. When I got my Haunted Twilight, she came with a Spectre Udo card, which I didn't know existed. And a little sticker sheet. That's cute. And they wrote me a note. So that was fun. Yeah, I got my Haunted Twilight for 25 which for a normal doll, I would say no. No thank you to. That's not a great deal, but it's on a Twilight. Oh my god. Cats! He's ruining my video. I, I can't. Ugh, freaking cat. Okay, so this is what we see. So this is what opens, and then just pink. Guess who it is by the color. Just kidding, you get it wrong. It says, thank you for supporting my small business. And it's cute now. Thank you. Maybe I'll, I think I might put a link to their thing on the, in the back, like in the comments if you guys, yeah, I think I'll do it. It says support the small business. So yeah, this is my first time buying from this person. I usually don't buy multiple things from a person because the other things are usually sold out. Because people get the good deals before me. But it's fine. We have to share all the good deals. There's a lot of scalpers that scalp, especially monster idols. Um, I'm struggling. Ooh, hoo, hoo, I already knew it was in here, but. Okay, I don't want to rip what's in here. So, I haven't got one of these in a while. No, it's not the Dollar A Monster High Diary, and this is a spoiler for who it is, but it is Serena Von Boo's diary. And I'm very excited to read about what she thinks about. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope. Okay, cool. But I'm very excited about this. Um, let's see who her best friends are. Avia Trotter, my name is Femur, and Nate and Rot. I thought she would put like, um, I mean, isn't she friends with Spectre and Laguna? They couldn't put those two. In the webisode, they like interacted. I wouldn't dream of reading your diary, so don't read mine. I, f I don't think that's something she'd say. I don't know. Anyway, what do I know? Anyway. Okay, so let's do this together. I think the cat wants to jump up here. No. Oh, my cat would love this. Where's my cat? Cat. He's staring at it, but he'll play with it later, trust me. Especially when he tweaks at like three in the morning while I'm trying to sleep. Anyway, my box. Maybe my cat will like that box too. And he really likes it. There's another one. Make sure there's nothing in here. Wait. I'm just making sure. No, nope, nothing. Here, cat. My cat loves this. There's more, but he doesn't need to have all these. Okay, anyway. That was a bad idea. Now he's gonna be making a lot of noise. Anyway, let's 
Okay, one. And then, ooh, here's our ghoul. Ooh, I've been wanting this ghoul since I started collecting again. And I was waiting for a good price, and that coupon, man. That coupon. Okay, let's see it. My first time holding Serena Von Boo ever. Oh, wait, there's something here. Thank you for supporting a small business. Okay. Let me just... Oh, oh. Dum Dum? Are you calling my boo dumb? Wow. Oh, there's something in her hair. Do you guys see that? Hope you can see it. There was something in her hair. I think I knocked it out. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's see if mine got a good face. Oh, my Serena has a good face. She has something in her eye, it appears, right here. It's not super noticeable, but I can notice it. I noticed it, and wowie. Wow. You're very pearlescent. I didn't know she was going to be this pearlescent. I knew she was pearlescent. She just didn't know she was this pearlescent. Also, another struggle with getting her is people like to charge a lot for her. Sometimes people, her chair, her chair, her... Oh, so hard to be me. I can't speak. Her tail was chipped. Um, sometimes... She was missing one of these, and I wanted her as complete as possible. Sometimes she was missing an earring. And guess what? She has both her earrings. Yes, ma'am. She has both her tassels, and her tail is in perfect condition. Please take it. Thank you. <laughs> my cat is all over things today. Oh my goodness, she is a gorgeous dual ghoul. I was wondering why this was up here. Because this was like this, I was like, that's not how it's supposed to look. Can you not grab me? Oh, but look, look at her. She is a gorgeous girl. Wow. Oh, so her tail opens. Let's see it. I don't want to break her. I'm scared, guys. Nice. I need to get her to stand in. Looking at my shelf, I don't know where I'm going to put her without my cat tormenting her. But yeah, look, she even has the ties around her necklace still, but they're rotting. I don't know if you could tell. You could see them, but there are, she has her ties. I'm gonna remove them though, because like I said, they're rotting and it's kind of gross. But that's how good intact she was. This is how great her condition was. She still has her ties holding her necklace in. I wonder if the collector had her, maybe. Maybe they're a collector. I don't know. I didn't read their bio, bro. Oh, see, you heard it. It's there. And it's stuck in her arm joint. There's one. Oh, I was making sure I didn't rip her um, dress strap. I thought I did. I, thought that. I was like, it was not that thin. Then kids would be ruining these all the time. Boom. Oh, there goes a the necklace. If you don't know, I don't like keeping ties on dolls unless it, like, severely benefits, is to my, the doll's benefit of not losing things. And I know that could have benefited me, but it's rotting. It's gross. So it's fine. Anyway, I didn't even know she had this on the back of her until I saw, I think, a courtly gesture video on her. Look at that. She has a fin. She has a fin. Isn't that freaking cool? I know she's a mermaid, but I just didn't expect her sculpt to be. Well, Monster High, they're really great sculpt, but I didn't expect to see that detail. That's so freaking cool. But yeah, she's so pearlescent. She's almost kind of yellow. Maybe it's the glue seeps or stuff. But she's so clear and like pearlescent and beautiful. I love her. Like you, I love these arm fins. And I freaking love her arm mold. Look how freaking cool she is, guys. And, like, look at her tail, like, and then look at the back. Like, come on, it's so per- Oh my god, look how pearlescent that is. I don't know if it picks up. It's so beautiful. Wow. My girl is so beautiful. I've been wanting her for so long. And she has these braids. Like, her hair. It's not that gluey, actually. Actually, her hair's not that gluey. I'm, I'm now curious if a collector took care of her. But yeah, she has these braids and then these rotting bands. I'm not going to touch them unless they, like, break. Because I don't want to mess it up. But now I'm confused because I thought she didn't. I didn't think she had braids. Oh my gosh. Goodness. Um, But I didn't think she had braids. I really didn't. Unless some, they did them themselves. And if they did, they did a great job. But I didn't think she had braids. Does she have braids? I have to look at the picture. Like, I, I adore this ghoul, but I don't remember if she has braids. I think she does, though. I feel dumb, but I love this girl. I just never... I feel like when I see pictures of her, they don't show her braids. So you can't blame a girl for that. 
But yeah, her screening. I think she, need, she needs a wash. I feel like her face is sticky, which is kind of gross. But that's okay. I'm going to wash her. I'm going to give her a wash. Or maybe something. Maybe it's the right. I think it's. No, I think it's from this. The rotting bands. Oh, she's not sticky. Is she? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to give her a wash. I'm going to look at her top. Oh, look at the mesh underneath the this. Ooh, la la. Um, like, look at, look at her top. I never got a close look. She looks like she has, like, a octopus beads and some green here. It's cute. I honestly want to get another one of her so I can redress her. But not, like, complete. Just with her fins. She doesn't even have to have the tassels. I just want her with her tail, her chains, and both her arms. I would love to get one to redress. Even if it's just a shirt. I'd still love to redress this girl. Um, but yeah, the pearl. Oh, oh, wait, look. She even has details on her arm. I don't know how to show this on camera. But, like, her arm even has some kind of details here. Look. Hope it picks up. Just trust me. If you can't see it, my source is just trust me, bro. Dang. She is so gorgeous. And she even has, like, these engravings on her, like, skin. I don't know how to, like describe it like it's right here too i don't know if you can see it like just trust me bro it's there like she has like if you touch it it like has like this gradient to it like it's like rough feeling like it's sculpted the way it's sculpted it's so freaking cool and also the blend of her hair i didn't know it was this like the variety was this amazing on it also look at her hairstyle she has this thing up here, and then she has this back thingy, then she has these gorgeous braids, and then this, like, her uh, hairstyle is exqui exquisite, exquisite, I can't speak, <laughs> she's so beautiful, and then her ear mold is cute, reminds me of, like, G3 Venus, I love G3 Venus, my god, um, but yeah, Jesus, she's just a beautiful girl, and the reason I've always adored this character is she, um, I don't know if this was written on purpose, but she just ex she's just the most ADHD monster high character I've ever seen, besides Heath maybe, but mostly her because she just has that. She has for me she has like both ADHD like hyperactive ADHD. Um, um, I forgot what that's called though. When you hyperactive and inattentive ADHD, she definitely does. Like in the movie, she gets constantly distracted by things. She loses her train of thought. Oh, that's how you do that to her tail. I don't know how I did it. I just kind of did it. Okay. Okay. We also the tail. I didn't even point to the tail detailing. But she just gets like me. Like right now I'm getting the heck of distracted. Like look at like the gradient before they overdid it in G3. <laughs> it's so freaking cool. And then look at the tail. Girl. Like her. She. Mermaid ghost. Hello. And also she. I just love how she gets distracted by the most random things. And she's kind of like loopy. She's adorable, but she's like a little loopy, <laughs> which I relate to. And I just, I just think she's such an adorable character. Her voice is so cute. Her design is so cute. She's such a sweet friend. She's just such a sweetheart. And I really like her in Haunted too. I think she's, a, she's just adorable. Oh, she has the cutest nose and the prettiest lips. Like she's just amazing, and I love her representation for Monster High. I would love if they brought her back. You have absolutely no idea how much I'd love for her to come back. I don't even care. Like, I want her to... And if she comes back, I want her to canonically have ADHD. You know how freaking important and cool that is? Like, with Twyla and G3 having being autistic, I love that. And I feel like we need ADHD character for Monster High. I feel like it just makes sense. Because I feel like in Monster High and G1, we had quite a few ADHD, like... Like, you can read them as depicting... Uh, like, you can, they're, like, ADHD-coded characters. Like I said, Heath is one of them. There's some more... Serena's definitely the top candidate. Like, I feel like she's the one that most people had canon with ADHD. Because she's just so, like, neurodivergent. And I feel like she would have special interests. She gives me that vibe. <laughs> and I just love that. I love that for her. But she's a beautiful, she's beautiful. You should get her. If she's not expensive, you should, you should get her. But don't feel the one I want. Because I want another one. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, what do you guys think of Serena Von Boo? Next, I'm going to have to get Bonita Femur. I love Bonita Femur. I missed the chance to get her for $14 the other day. I'm so freaking upset. <laughs> but at least I got her because she's my favorite like, character from the line. As a kid, it was Nathan, but when I, I've grown up since I've matured. It's her. She's awesome. She's amazing. She's a ghost and a mermaid, too. 
and she does this. Oh! Oh, that's how you stand her. I'm so happy I didn't break her. I would have been, so, I would have been crying. <laughs> but yeah, here she is. My girly. I cannot wait to read her little secrets. I can't wait to read into her ADHD mind. It's gonna be so awesome. Ooh. It says, this is cute. For her freaky flaw, she says, I guess some monsters think I'm a bit of an air fin, but what I actually am is a daydreamer. I'm always floating away my thoughts on land or sea. <laughs> she's so freaking cute. She, yeah, she's not airheaded. She's not air thin, guys. She just, she just gets easily distracted by pretty shiny things. She has ADHD, guys. Don't judge a girly. I mean, look, she obviously likes shiny things. Look at the pearls she's wearing. Wearing a lot of pearlescent things. And her skin's pearlescent, so. She wants things to be something as beautiful and shiny as her. Anyway, that's it for this video. Serena Von Boo, top 10 Monster High character. You can change my mind, but you won't. You can't change it. I lied. Also, there was a dum dum in her hair. Don't forget that. Let's see what flavor this is. Should I eat this? Because it was wrapped, but. I don't know if I'm gonna eat this, but this is blueberry. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they did it on purpose, because look at the hair. Look, look, oh my gosh, it's a conspiracy. She gave me a blue one that was a mystery because they knew it was Serena Bumboo. 